Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video with me, Fuzzball40. I just want to say thank you to everyone that has started subscribing to the channel ready for FIFA 23. It is growing like crazy. We're going to be doing a giveaway for FIFA 23 for one of you guys in the next sort of few days. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that. And if you are new around here, do subscribe down below. I guarantee you, if you follow what I do on this channel, you will make millions of coins this year so easily. And you'll also be able to get yourself unlimited free packs. It's just as much as you want to grind will be where your sort of, I guess, grind stops. Um, don't forget, foot trading is launching very soon. We're also going to be doing a giveaway over there. The website is unbelievable. Again, we've had people that made over 100 million coins this year. It was an incredible year for us. So absolutely epic. But this is all about how you get free players on FIFA 23. Um, it's not clickbait. This is fact. I do it every single year. Anyone that watches my streams... No, I do it. Last year, it meant that I started off the game with a Kante, uh, Kimpembe, I think I ended up with Rashford as well. And the first few days, just by doing this simple BPM into silver into gold method. And I want to explain why it's so overpowered. What we're going to start by doing, look at our transfer pile. And as you can see, we have a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of the most random bronzes that have sold. Like everything that comes up, it's ridiculous at the moment. BPM right now is so, so strong purely because there is no supply. Very few people on FIFA right now opening up bronze packs, okay? Very few people. Oh, yeah, Grimaldo in our um, gold pack. We'll get that in a second. Um, very few people are on the game open up bronze packs, and that creates demand. Now, I know a lot of you guys be sitting there thinking, well, why is there a demand for golds, uh, for bronzes, even not golds? And the reason for that is simple. People still use these cards in SBCs, and because gold cards are expensive... Bronze cards become more expensive because they follow them up in price. Rather than using a gold card, someone will throw in a 500 coin bronze card instead. Dundee's used to sell, but I don't know if it still does. No. Um, they throw in bronzes instead. Now, why is that re relevant to FIFA 23? At the beginning of the game, people aren't opening up bronze packs. They're opening up gold packs and doing whatever else it is. So the supply of bronze cards is very, very low. However, guaranteed... Every single time round, we get the Foundation SBCs. And in the Foundation SBCs, you get these three major ones. Hybrid Leagues, Hybrid Nations, League of Nation Hybrid. But you also get these two guys here sitting there chilling. A lot of the solutions for these SBCs contain bronze cards. Usually you see a lot of Romanians, Chinese, anyone with sort of loads of really good links to make up. They appear in these SBCs. And so there is a demand for these cards. They are very very expensive early on we're talking sort of upwards of 800 to a thousand coins a card some of them get as high as three four thousand the reason for that is people go onto footbin and they see the footbin sbc solution and they copy that solution so you can do two things the first thing you can set up solutions based upon the players you pack now i wouldn't bother with that personally i don't think it's worth the time but what you can just do is set up solutions based upon specific leagues so let's say the hybrid nations comes out and there's a league like the Chinese Super League. You can go ahead and put together a team on Footbin. If you want to, this is. Other people do it for you. And just keep putting out teams that meet the requirements, that are cheap to do and have Chinese Super League players in them. That'll mean that the price of Chinese Super League players rises. And as you open up your bronze packs, you'll be able to sell those cards for profit. Sell them for very good profit. Okay. So what you want to do is go across to the store when it comes to it. And you'll be able to open up bronze packs. This will be great when it comes to um, the web app. It'll be great when it comes to the web app. So bear that in mind. This is a really good thing to do while the game ain't live. And basically what you do is you'll check the price of everything. Now this guy, for example, sells for quite a bit. But let's say this Kempter, basically when the game first comes out, is 200 coins. We keep hold of him. And then Lee Yang, for example, we'd sell. We'll get him up and sell him. And then this guy here, this Briones, again, we'll sell him. And we'll keep this guy here. Get rid of this stuff and send it all to club. Simple as that. So all the players we get to club that are worth nothing. What will happen is over time and opening those packs, you will break even or make profit from bronze pack method while putting bronze players into your club. Now, they aren't the free players we're talking about. What you then also have on top of that is other foundation SBCs, which are the bronze upgrade, the silver upgrade and the gold upgrade. Now, I'm pretty certain these come out right at the beginning of the game. You may have to wait a couple of days. I don't know what's going to happen with the web app. Everything's new to us this year. What will happen is you'll then be able to do the bronze upgrade and get yourself some silver players. Now, some of those silver players or bronze players can go into these major SBCs full stop to save you coins. So if you can get some silvers that are maybe French and link them across in the hybrid nations, fantastic. 
Really, really easy. You can throw them in there and get tradable players back, which is great. Anything that you think, right, I'm not going to use that, goes straight into the silver upgrade. That gives you three common gold players back. Again, some of those guys can be used over across in the hybrid leagues, the hybrid nations, the League of Nations hybrid. They can be thrown into these SBCs. Again, it gives you tradable players back. It gives you coins back. It makes these SBCs basically free to complete. So come the end of all of this little bit of the grind, you may have got three or four of these SBCs done along the way, no problem, while you're still then having some of the cards in your club, especially the untradeable gold, to do stuff with. And then the final sort of link to it is the gold upgrade. This will give you two rare gold players back, okay? Now, people will sit here and say to, to me or say to people, it isn't worth the time, it's long-winded, it's, it's boring, whatever. What else are you going to do when the web app comes out other than do this? Because you're about to trade, fantastic, no problem. You'll be able to do these SBCs and that will be it. That will be absolutely everything that you can do on the game at that moment. So why not utilise those days to sit there and open up bronze packs and list stuff up and get it sold? Why not do that? It makes complete and utter sense for you to do. But it's also twofold. These gold upgrade packs give you first owner untradeable cards. Now, I packed Kante, Kimpembe, some really expensive cards early on last year. Loads of other bits and bobs as well. Borello, I think. It was great, and it helped me build a really good starter team. But what it also meant was I was getting first owner untradeable cards that could go into the SBCs here that require loyalty. Now, if you don't know what loyalty is, basically, whenever you pack a player, it has a green sort of shield on it. That player has a boost of chem. That same sort of boost of chem comes with playing 10 games with that team. So people use that, so they go and play 10 games and use those cards in these SBCs. Now, we don't know how they're going to do the chemistry for these SBCs this year. We have no idea what they're going to do. But if they do require loyalty, you can pack some of the players you need from this gold upgrade and build around that. Let's say the SBC calls for an 81 rated team. Okay, cool. Well, if you go and pop out and get an 82 rated card like, I don't know, Anthony Lopez from Lee Gun, you know that you can build around Lee Gun and you've got a chemistry boost there straight away from Anthony Lopez, which is great. And that works really well. And it's a really nice way to build up the chemistry in these teams whilst also not spending a single penny on the game. You're not having to use anything like FIFA points. You're not using your coin balance because all you're doing is BPMing your way to these cards here. And people will say, like I've said before, oh, it's long-winded, it takes time. It may well do, but you've got nothing else to be doing. So you can give yourself an unbelievable head start. Get those free players in your club and build them up. Not only that, if you don't convert all your bronzes up, those bronzes can be used in daily SPCs that might come out objectives that might come out silvers for example and silver stars earlier on you can use those if you get some really overpowered silvers hold on to them if you get some good silvers of 85 pace 90 pace keep them there's no no harm in that when those sbcs come out or when the um objectives come out that require silvers you're not going to have to spend a single penny you're ready to go straight away up you go no problem whatsoever so let's summarize it simplistically all you've got to do is open up bronze packs it's very very easy you can see my coin total rising as we talk, because I've been doing it. Open up bronze packs at the beginning of the game. They cost 750 coins. You're looking to make back the value of your packs over time. So maybe 40,000 coins of bronze packs at a time. Compare price on them, see what they're selling for, and list them up. So for example, because I doubled my coins on that guy, and then we've got Perry here, who is going to be a similar sort of price. Because these all sell. They all sell. At some point, you might have to relist them a few times. We'll quick sell that, and then we could keep these two guys here. Now, they probably have value at the moment. This guy here has a bit of value, so we'll sell them because we're at the end of FIFA 23, 22 even. Uh, but for example, I keep that guy. And you put them into your clubs. You then take your bronzes, and you can put some of those bronzes into the foundation SBCs, whether that is hybrid leagues, nations, all those sort of ones, or just the basic SBCs that are here. These guys, the ones that get you started. Let's get started, league and nation basics. They can go into that. That gives you players back straight away. Easy as anything, straight away. You can convert some of those bronzes up into the silver upgrade. Well, the bronze upgrade into silvers. Some of those silvers can go into the SBCs as well. Some of the decent silvers that are sort of very good pace, very good shooting for, their, for the card you keep hold of. Convert those silvers into golds. Those golds can go into these SBCs again, giving you tradable cards back, actual coin value back. So if you spent coins from BPM and you're like, watch, I'm 10k down, you'll get it back from doing that. And then those three common golds, if you don't use any of them, can go into the gold upgrade. Again, you've got the chance of packing some good stuff in those packs. But that stuff could also go into the advanced SBCs that you see here to get you even more value back and you will be rolling. You can easily get yourself to two, three, four hundred thousand coins just by doing this for a couple of days. No need to trade at all to start with and just to get yourself going on the game. 
But if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. But for now, I'm out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.